but when it goes back there, it goes right here, he switches the board. Now he's Sawmills lived in the early days. The train will drop you at the sawmill on the return journey.
just pulling up to the end of the line, the log hauling area. It was all action here with the huge logs of Rimu or Totara being hauled from the forest by steam winches to this site, then loaded onto trolleys that were towed by steam loki down to the sawmill. And we'll hear some of the sounds associated with the logging industry as we disembark from the train. It wasn't always a straightforward run down the mill like this one. Steep grades, cuttings and sharp corners were common, so runaways were common also. New Zealand's bush tram lines were built by hand and hard craft. It was said to be at the extreme limit of railway technology. It was real bush block ingenuity. At the peak of the industry, over 250 miles of bush tram lines just like this snake their way through the west coast of Victoria. We'll be here for a few minutes, so take in the atmosphere and learn more about the dangers of the timber trade, the hauling and loading, the loss of tows and runaway lokis. Our driver and guard will be happy to show you through the engine and answer any questions you may have. Yeah. Um.